1945, a state called the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth lost its independence. It was removed from the map of Europe in the last of three partitions between three great land empires, Prussia, Austria at the time, and Russia. The idea was to put together a group of people who could talk about not just independence but also the 100th anniversary of women's suffrage uh, in Poland uh, and to, to combine this in a, in a single event that would represent a very broad range of perspectives on what the anniversary of 1918 means uh, and what its relevance is uh, today. I've always had a, a kind of sense of mission about bringing Polish women to a wider audience. My latest project has been Zofia Nałkowska. She engages very much with issues that are very current today, like peace, war. She kind of saw war as being a more extreme version of how we live anyway, and she had a very pessimistic um, view about human beings, but at the same time, enormous empathy. And that empathy is something that feeds her approach to women. Kobietą, którą ja wyjątkowo cenię, to jest Maria Skłodowska Curie, kobieta, która odkrywała nowe rzeczy, była innowatorką i która w obcym kraju potrafiła zdobyć tak ogromny autorytet, rozgłos, a przede wszystkim dzięki swoim odkryciom uratować życie wielu osób. We really wanted people from political spheres, uh, but also from uh, intellectual spheres, not just academia, uh, but for think tanks and, and journalists as well. Uh, who's a journalist from the conservative Dorzeczy weekly magazine. Then we have Barbara Nowacka, who's a social activist. It was more about a conversation about what uh, independence meant 100 years ago and what it means today. Then we have Bartłomiej Radziejewski, who belongs to an intellectual grouping called Nova Confederacja. And finally, we have Jakub Majmurek, another intellectual belonging to the Krytyka Polityczna Circle. Centenary of Polish, uh, regaining of Polish independence is uh, from one side a uh, symbol of great success and from the other side symbol of great burden and challenge. Maintaining independence is a uh, thing of great work and uh, great struggle. Who we are? And in 1918, there were no doubts like this. We knew we are Poles, whereas nowadays we are questioning our identity um, and our, we are wondering what to do with our... Story. Intergenerational aspect was also important to us to see different voices of, of different um, generations and how they define the term independence. I'm very proud to be here to take part in the celebrations of Polish independence. Both my parents were soldiers of the Polish underground. My mother, Jadwiga Cichos, was a friend of General Zabacka, who created the archives of Polish ladies in Polish army during the Second World War. We wanted to finish this event with, uh, how do you say, Sprzytupem? Oh yeah, okay, with, a, with a splash, let's say. Yeah. And we realized <laughs> that we are both fans of uh, the hipster folk group Sutari. Nie będzie płakało. 
Uh, and so what we saw today was a combination of uh, discussion, uh, a kind of reconsideration of the 1918 anniversary, but also a celebration, and that's what we're concluding with. Do białego rana, do białego rana